Hi, this is Rachel with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and I'm here at the studio. It's Friday morning, a little after nine, and I am here to offer you a moderate flow yoga class. Um, so this is a class that we've been live streaming for the past few months um, through Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and it's an intermediate level flow class. So if you're just tuning in for the first time, you can take it at your own pace, but we do kick it up a notch, kind of build on our Monday and Wednesday practice. Um, so we move towards this moderate paced class on Fridays. So we'll begin with a seated meditation in just a moment. We'll spend a few minutes in meditation just to kind of get our minds right for our day and for our practice. We'll do a nice warm up and we'll get into our flow momentarily. It's, we'll go for an hour almost. So we'll go until just about 10 o'clock. So I'm sorry I'm logging on a little late. I can see that you guys are joining me now. So thanks for waiting. Um, it was just one of those mornings. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Good to see you. I was on the phone with my mom and dad on the way here and I'm like, I need yoga so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like the world is just so crazy right now and um it's i'm just so glad that i'm here with you guys and that we can breathe together and meditate together and stretch and move and get ourselves ready to um, be set up for a new day and a new weekend so sarah welcome it's so good to see you guys thanks for waiting for me um robbie's here i'm so glad that you guys are here this morning um Great. So I hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm back on the new camcorder and the new mic, and I rushed to get it all set up. So um, I'm hoping that it worked okay. Like I said, I was scrambling to get here this morning. So um, if you can hear me and see me, just give me a thumbs up or a sign. I'm guessing you can. I see hellos from Robbie and from Sarah. Amy's here. This is so great. I love seeing you guys. Thomas, good morning. I miss you so much. I miss working out with you and seeing you guys. I used to see Thomas like at least three times a week and now we don't see each other anymore so that's hard but um good to see you guys everybody so let's get going um it looks like we've got a good crew with us i'm guessing you can hear me and see me okay so we'll just go for it my mom's here all right great welcome my name is Rachel Plain. We're here for Moderate Flow Yoga at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness. We'll go till 10 o'clock, start with our meditation. We'll move into a warm up, have a nice um, kind of intermediate style flow, moving with our breath, building some strength, some flexibility, some balance, and we'll end in relaxation at the end. So, so glad you guys are here. Thank you to those of you who filled out our survey. Um, I've been, I sent a survey out earlier in the week to the students of mine that I know have been watching the virtual classes over the past couple weeks to kind of test the waters of what our summer is going to look like together for July and August. I'm working on a studio-wide survey that's probably going to go out tomorrow, so keep your eye on your inbox for that. If you haven't seen this survey that I posted for my classes for July and August, you can check it out on the Facebook event. Um, I'll also post it here in the comments, so you can check it out here after class. Um, so those of you that filled it out, awesome. Thank you so, so much. We got so many responses. It's been overwhelming. I can't wait to check them out. I'm going to really dive into that this weekend, and I'm excited to um, have a great plan to keep moving with you guys this summer. Good morning, Pam. Good to see you. Okay, great. We're all here. Let's do it. So you're going to come to a comfortable seat. So you can come back on your mat. You don't need anything special today, but any props that you like to practice with, um, feel free to have them. Arabi, I love the ears, eyes, and the thumbs up so she can see in here. I think we're good. All right, let's do it. Great. Okay. So, come into a comfortable seat, so you can be cross legs or be sitting up on something, and then just take some time to come into your body. So with hands down on your lap, take a little rock maybe, side to side, forward and back, but just kind of wiggling into this um, experience of being seated, of being on your mat, of finding stillness. So let the hands kind of touch the knees or the lap, the thighs, the legs. And start to notice how your body feels. And then we're going to come right into that meditation today. So go ahead and sit up nice and tall. And you can let the palms be down or up on your lap. So find a place that's comfortable like we typically do feel the lower half of the body rooting. So feel the um, tailbone, the sitting bone, the hips, the legs grounded towards the earth. And then feel energy rise up the base of the spine all the way to the top of the head. So feel yourself get a little taller and longer. Reach the very top of the head up a little higher. 
Seeing if you could just elevate the ears further away from the shoulders. Elevate the ribs further away from the hip points. So creating space in your body, letting this practice be an opportunity to not only create space in our bodies, but create space in our minds, space in our hearts. And then we get to choose how we want to fill that space up. So perhaps beginning to set an intention for today of how you want to feel. How do you want to be? How do you want to show up? What do you want to invite in or manifest or create through this practice? How can this practice of breath and movement and mindfulness support you in whatever endeavors are on your plate for today. And then take a deep breath in and full breath out. Feel your three part breath, feel the low belly expand, the rib cage open, the heart and chest rise, big full breath. And exhale, let the chest soften, let the ribs relax, and let the belly soften. Keep that three-part dirga breath. Begin to let the breath wash over your whole body, your mind, your heart. Allowing the breath to calm the fluctuations of your mind to help bring greater peace and ease and compassion towards yourself, towards others. So this practice of yoga, yoga means to unite or to yoke. So uniting your body, your mind, your heart, your spirit into this most aligned, conscious, present place. where peace and love and compassion and joy reside. Take another deep inhale. And full exhale. On your next inhale, bring your hands to prayer. Let your palms touch each other. You can bow your head to your heart and just take a moment to remember that intention that you're creating today, to really feel that, to hold that in your heart, to hold that in your body of how you want to feel today, how you want to show up, how you want to behave, what you want to invite in, what you want to create or manifest. Hold that intention in your heart. We'll come back to that throughout your practice today. And then as you inhale, slide your hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms, lift up, look up. Exhale, open wide, bring your chin to your chest, bring your fingers to the ground. Inhale, arms out and up, interlace your fingers, flip your palms up to the ceilings. We'll take a little warm up that we did earlier on Wednesday. Exhale, round your back, so seated cat and cow with those interlaced fingers. Inhale, rise up, press the belly forward, the chest, lift the throat, the face. Exhale, round your back, tuck your tail, scoop your belly. Do that one more time, inhale up. And exhale, release. On your next inhale, rise high, pause there. Open the arms, interlace your fingers behind your back, drop your chin, press the fist down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the throat, lift the face, and exhale, forward fold. Hands could stay interlaced or unwind them. Arms stay at the low back or they float away, couple breaths. Good, arm bones pick you up. Release the hands, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Press into fingertips, lift the heart, maybe elevate the hips. Press the pelvis forward, lift the face, look up. And exhale, release. Uncross your legs so you put the other leg in front. If you're seated cross-legged, if you're kneeling, you can just stay. Inhale, lift. We're going to hit those six movements of the spine. So flip the palms open towards the ceiling. Stretch up and over to one side. Good. Inhale, up and over through center, and then to the other side. Good. Inhale through center. Release the right arm. Big stretch up and over to the left or whatever side you're on. Go the other way. Big stretch up and over to the side. 
Good. Inhale through center, interlace the fingers one more time. Press the fists or palms to the ceiling, look up. And then twist towards the right. Release the left hand across the lap. Bring the right hand behind you. Sit up tall and look over your back shoulder. Couple breaths. Good. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist the other way. Long, tall spine. Press down into the hands, down into the fingers. Rise up through the head. Inhale, lift up. And then last time here, interlace your fingers just like you did before. Drop in, interlace fingers, press fists down, squeeze shoulders together, apart. lift the face, look up, and then dive forward, hinge at the hips, belly down, chest down, head down, arms away from the back, big stretch. Arm bones pick you up, head's the last to lift, release the hands, roll the shoulders, press into fingertips, lift the heart. If you want to lift the hips, pick them up, look up. And exhale, release back down. Let's come over our shins to tabletop or just unwind your legs. So we're in all fours here. You can bring the hands in front of the shoulders and just take a few hip circles. So we're still warming up. If you're tuning in now, um, we are in our moderate flow class. So it's an intermediate level flow class. So we always start with a nice um, centering and meditation and then an easy warm up and then we'll start to flow shortly. Um, but you can take it at your own pace. So if you are looking for a more gentle practice, just Take the modifications and variations to keep it that way. More vigorous, you could always pick it up a notch. And then eventually, after you've wagged the hips to the left and the right, let the big toes touch, separate the knees, drop the forehead, extend the arms. Take a little rock. So here, you can always rest here. You could always come back to child's pose. You could always take a rest at any point during your practice. Good. And then let's come to stillness, shift forward to tabletop, all fours, bring the wrist underneath the um, shoulders and the knees under the hips and take a little wag. And we're gonna make our way up to dog. So step the hands a little further forward to the shoulders, spread the fingers really, really wide, either middle finger faces forward or hands can be slightly turned out with pointer finger forward, whatever's comfortable for you. Press firmly into the hands, toes curled under, knees lift up off the ground, hips press back to dog. Inhale, rise on the balls of your feet. Exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm and hold. Good, inhale, pick it up. Exhale, switch. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, both heels drop. Good, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll out through your plank or through your dong dog to plank and hold. Lift the hips, stretch back to dog. Good, inhale, roll out to plank. Exhale, stretch back to dog. You're gonna do that one more time. If it's too much, you can skip it. You could be in dog or you could rest in child. Good, last down dog. Now step your feet as wide as your mat. Shorten up your stance. So walk the hands back in your dog. Drop the head, maybe wag the head left to right. Take a breath. And then if it's comfortable, you're going to bring your left hand to the right ankle and look underneath the right arm. And then you can just use your hand to kind of pull that leg and look underneath the arm and hold. Three. Good. You're doing great. Release that hand. Go the other way. Reach the other ankle. Twist. Hold. Good job. And release. Walk the hands back towards your feet. Wiggle your feet hip width. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Let your head hang heavy. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Good, we're gonna stay in this forward fold. Make little fists with your hands. You're just gonna give yourself a little massage. So just start to kind of gently um, pummel the backs of the legs, the hips, the bottom. So you can use your fists to kind of wake up the hamstrings, wake up the IT band, wake up the calves. So just a little massage, little pounding of the legs with those loose, relaxed fists all the way up the legs. All the way up the bottom, the hips, step back down. Good. And then let that go. Bend the knees. You're going to keep the left knee bent straight in the right leg. Maybe lift the right arm, come high on the left fingertips. Take a twist there. If that's too um, far to reach the ground, bring your hand up to your thigh or to a block. Take a breath. And exhale, release, bend your knees. Switch sides, left leg out and up. Or left leg straightens, right, left arm out and up, right knee bent. Good, deep breath. 
Exhale, release. Hold here. Take opposite elbow, a little sway. Really waking up the backs, the legs, the back body. Good. And then start to pause, release the hands, bend the knees, and slowly roll up. Inhale, big sun breath, arms out and up above the head, palms meet above the head. And exhale, slide your hands to prayer, close your eyes. Come back to your breath, take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Go ahead and step up to the top of the mat. We'll start to flow here. So inhale, arms out and up, lift up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs. That's the first half of a sun salutation. Inhale, lengthen hands to shin bones or fingertips to mat. And exhale, deep fold. Step the right leg back and land on your right knee. Back toes either curled under or uncurled. Inhale, lift the arms. You could lift the chest. You could lift the face. And exhale, swan dive. Pull the hips back, straighten your front leg, walk the hands back, lengthen your spine. And exhale, deep fold. Stay for a breath here, deep inhale. Full exhale. Good, lengthen your spine again. Roll over the sole of the front foot, walk the hands back, lift your back knee and step the back leg up to meet the front leg. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, so hands either to shins or fingertips to the mat, but long spine and straight legs if you can. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, out and up, all the way, palms touch. Exhale, through prayer, close your eyes. Remember your intention, breathe that in, deep inhale. Exhale, release your arms. The whole thing from the top, just that little flow. Inhale, lift. Good. Keep going. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Left leg steps back. Left knee drops. Inhale, arms out and up. Anjaneyasana, look up. Exhale, swan dive. Pull the hips back, straighten the front leg, walk the hands back, inhale, lift, and exhale, dive forward. Hold there, deep breath in, and full breath out. Roll over the sole of the front foot, bend the front knee, dip the hips, walk the hands back, inhale, lift, Exhale, swan dive. You got a little bonus lift there. We forgot that on the other side. Back knee um, lift. Step the back leg up to meet the front leg. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Exhale, hands through prayer. You'll close your eyes again. Come back to your intention. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the arms. Continuing on, sun breath to the top. Let's keep the hands together this time. Bend the knees, bend the hips, bring the hands through prayer. Inhale, lengthen flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold. Step the right leg back to low lunge. Step the left leg back to plank. Hold your plank. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower the knees, uncurl your toes, come to your belly. Good. Inhale, lift baby cobra, and then slide the hands forward. Come up on the forearms. Lift the chest, lift the heart, and sphinx. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, turn your head to the right. Good. Inhale for center. Exhale, head to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, release elbows out to the side, hands underneath the shoulders, back near the chest. Inhale, lift to cobra, baby cobra to start. And exhale, lower. You come up a little higher. Inhale, press in the hands, lift medium cobra. Exhale, higher. This time, either a full cobra or if you want up dog, press in the hands, lift the chest, even lift the knees, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. And exhale, release. From here, curl the toes under. You're gonna come to plank. So if you can press straight up to plank, you're gonna press straight up to plank. And then pitch the hips back, down dog. On an inhale, rise on the balls of your feet. Exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm. Inhale, lift up. 
and exhale, switch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, both heels drop from here, shift forward to plank and drop your knees. So we're just gonna do a little core warm up. This is a little different. You're gonna take your right knee out to the side, touch it towards the right elbow, kick it back, release it to the ground, be on the ball of the foot, and then take the left leg and do a little kick, kick it behind you. Release the knee down and do that again. Right knee to elbow, inhale, extend. Exhale, left leg kicks and inhale, lower. Exhale, right knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower and kick. And inhale, lower. Do it one more time. Bring knee to elbow, kick it back, lower it down, little kick, and then release that leg to plank. Lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple breaths just to land in your dog. Stretch the hips back, pause here. Take a deep inhale and full exhale. To get to the top of the mat, either take little baby steps or float the right leg forward, up, and then step the right leg through. Step the left leg up to meet it. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse, out and up. Exhale through prayer. Close your eyes again. Take a deep inhale. Just notice how you feel. And exhale, release your arms. Do that whole thing again. So sun breath, other side. Exhale through prayer. Bend the knees. Come all the way through. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Step the left leg back to low lunge. Step the right leg back to meet it in plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower the knees. This time, lift the tail, lift the heart for knees, chest, and chin. Look up. Bend the elbows back. Dip the chest. And we'll just come straight through to cobra. Press the chest forward. Uncurl the toes. Lift up. Exhale, release to your belly. Shift up to tabletop. Toes curl under. Downward dog. Good. Inhale on the balls of your feet. Exhale, drop the left heel, bend the right knee, look underneath the left arm. Inhale, lift. And exhale, switch. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, both heels drop. We're going to take that whole core work on the other side, so shift forward to plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release your knees. Now the left knee comes out to the side. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, release, and little kick with the right leg. Release the knee down. Left knee to elbow. Left leg back. Foot comes down, other leg kicks out. And release it down one more time. Left knee to elbow, bend your knee. Kick the left leg back. Ball of the foot to the mat, kick opposite leg through. And then lower to plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower either knees, chest, and chin, modified or full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, down dog to hold. Couple breaths. So let this be a little rest. If it's too much on the wrist, if it's too much on the back, if it's too much on the shoulders, drop to child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Good job. And then coming forward, either little baby steps or left leg floats up. Left leg steps through. Other uh, leg comes up to meet it. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. And exhale, hands through prayer. Let's hold for a couple breaths. So just notice how your body is right now. Notice how the breath is after you're getting the energy flowing, the body moving, the heat building. Notice the rhythm of the breath and the beating of your heart. And just tune inward, noticing how you feel from the inside out. Take a deep in breath. As you exhale, release the arms. Let's keep going. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Come into Utkatasana or standing squat. You're going to hold that. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, hands through prayer. Come all the way to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen again, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. 
Exhale, deep fold. Here, you could walk, step, or hop back. If you're gonna hop, you're gonna hop into chaturanga. Otherwise, step back to plank, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, right leg floats up, three-legged dog. Flex your foot and roll your ankle. Roll your ankle the other way. Keep your legs straight, point your toe, lift your legs skyward, so open up the hips. Keep it high to the sky, maybe bend the top knee, drop the foot towards the hip. Good, and then inhale, kick it high to the sky. As you exhale, knee comes into belly to step through. Spin the back heel down and come up to warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. You're gonna pause there, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, release the hands and interlace the fingers behind your back. Press the fists down, open up the heart, lift the chest, and dive into humble warrior. So bring the chest down, drop the head, hold here, couple breaths. So you could be in like a flat back with the arms at the um, long and strong alongside the back, or go right inside that leg. Drop the head and reach the arms away, couple breaths. Good, pull the arms up, release the hands, inhale, lift the upper body and the torso to warrior one. And exhale, swan dive over the leg and pluck your back heel up off the ground. So you're in a low lunge. Press into the left hand, lift the right arm out and up. From here, it's a little different. We're gonna take this right leg, the front leg, whatever leg is front, and you're gonna step it up and over your back leg. It's going to look like this. So come on the outer edge of the left foot. Step that right leg up and over. Come on the ball of your foot and then lift the hips and make a big arc with that top arm to look up. Good. Inhale, lift it high to the sky. It's a little different too. You're going to flip down. Come on the ball of the foot and thread that right leg through. Now you're on the outside edge of your foot. And if you feel okay, flip on the inside edge of the back foot and then lift the left arm. Take a breath, exhale, release. Go ahead and step back to plank. Take your vinyasa, lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good job. Take a deep inhale, rise in the balls of the feet. Exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, switch. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, both heels drop like we did before. You're either going to walk, little baby steps, step, one big step and another big step, or look between the hands, bend the knees, and then walk, step, or hop up. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold. Come up through Utkatasana, bend the knees, bend the hips, chair pose, hold, take a breath. Straighten the legs to dasana. Exhale, hands through prayer. Anjaneyasana, prayer pose. Hold there, Anjali Mudra. Take a deep inhale. Hold there, full exhale. Notice how you feel one more time. Tune right back into your body, your mind, your heart. Take another deep breath. And exhale, release your arms. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Utkatasana, you guys are doing great. Hold your chair pose. This is not easy. So you're in your intermediate class, you're doing great. Hold your chair pose, pause. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hands through prayer, all the way to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, deep fold, walk, step, or hop back. If you're hopping, you're coming to Chaturanga. If you're stepping, you're coming to plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, balls of feet. Exhale, left heel drops, right knee bends, look under left arm. Inhale, rise. Exhale, switch. Inhale, rise. Exhale, both heels drop like we did on the other side. Now the left leg floats up, three-legged dog. Flex your foot, roll your ankle. Roll it the other way. 
Keep it straight, point your toe, lift it skyward, open up the hips like a big standing split. Bend the top knee, foot falls back to hip. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, knee comes into belly. You're gonna step or help that leg through to the top of the mat. Spin your back heel down and inhale up to warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, open the arms behind you, interlace your fingers. Coming to Humble Warrior, first open the heart, press the fist down, open the chest, look up, and then dive to the inside edge of that front foot, either a flat back or all the way in and down. Head drops, arms can move away from back. Hold and breathe. Good job. Maybe look at that back foot. Arms pick you up. Release the hands, toss them right above the head, like Tadasana, breathe in. And exhale, swan dive, pluck the back heel up off the ground. First steps, that revolve lunge, so press into the right hand, lift the left arm. So you could stay here, so now you know where we're headed. If that felt like too much, just stay. Otherwise, you're gonna take that front foot, you're gonna step it up and over the back leg. So go on the outside edge of the back foot, step the other leg up and over, come on the ball of the foot. Pick the hips up in big arching rainbow over the head. Look up. Good. Release the arm up and down. Now thread that left leg through all the way across the body, outside edge of the foot, inside edge of the back foot. Lift the right arm. Breathe. Good. Release the hand. Step back to plank or modify by dropping the knees. Lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple breaths here. If you need more of a rest, drop into child's. That's no problem. Few breaths in down dog or child. Good job. From here, look between the hands. Walk, step, or bend the knees and hop up. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, deep fold. We're coming up through chair, bend the knees, bend the hips, hold. Take a deep breath and full breath out. Inhale, straighten legs. Exhale, hands through prayer. Close your eyes again, come back to your intention. How do you feel now? Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Let's do one more flow. So inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees to swan dive. So we'll just mix it up. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, straight legs, straight arms. Exhale, deep fold. Step the right leg back to lunge. Step the left leg back to plank. Either drop the knees or keep them lifted, lower chaturanga or modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg floats up, three-legged dog. Or you could stretch it all the way up to the ceiling. Maybe bend the top knee, toe falls back to hip. Inhale, pick it up. Exhale, knee into belly. You're going to float through to step to the top of the mat. Um, spin the back heel down. So we're coming back up to warrior one. Inhale, lift. So just like we did on that other flow, we're going to take some elements here. Release the hands, interlace the fingers. So we'll do this one more time. Press the fist down. Open the heart. Look up. Dive into humble warrior again. Chest comes down. Head relaxes. Arms away from back to pause. Breathe. Look at the back foot. Arms pick you up, release the hands, inhale, warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, straighten the front knee, open up to warrior two, reposition your feet, get your front heel lined up with the arch of the back foot, front foot facing forward, gaze is over front middle finger, stretch the arms long, take a deep breath in, and full breath out. From here, dance back, bring the back hand to the back leg, flip the palm. And turn the face down, just like we did on Wednesday. Look at that back foot, just for something a little different. Bend the front knee, look at the back foot. Breathe. Good, inhale through warrior two. Bend the front elbow and bring the forearm to the thigh as you sweep the bottom arm down to come up to side angle and look up. Couple breaths. Good job. Good, inhale, top arm picks you up straight in the legs. Dance back, reverse triangle, Trikonasana. Bend the front knee, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. From here, we're gonna come into our balancing half moon. So bring the left hand to the left hip. 
Bring the right arm down to the ground as you kind of hop that back leg forward a little bit. So go ahead and drag it up so you can reach the right arm down. And now pick the um, left leg up. Flex the foot. Try to bring the right hand down underneath the face. Hold here. If you want to balance, you're going to lift the left arm to the ceiling. If you want a little more, you're going to take the right hand and bring it up to your heart. Hold, breathe. Good, release the right arm. Release the left arm and kick the left leg high to the sky like a standing split. Just lift it up. And now we're coming down for a landing. So bend the standing leg and tuck the bottom leg right underneath the um, front leg and come to sit. So you're coming in for a twist. So you're here. If it's too congested, just unwind the bottom leg. Come into a regular seated twist. We'll get to the other side in a moment. Lift the right arm. Same arm as bent leg. Twist towards your front bent knee. Bring the top arm to the ground. Hug the other elbow into the knee. Sit up tall or look over back shoulder. Couple breaths. Good job. Breathing there. You're going to hold there. Couple breaths. Good, unwind your body. Let's take that front leg, our top leg, and swing it all the way around. So if the bottom leg's not tucked in yet, just kind of tuck it in like a pigeon pose. Press into the hands, and let's take a little rest. Bring the front leg back to meet the back leg. Just drop down to child's for a moment, stretch it out, and pause and breathe. Good, shift back tabletop, all fours. Bring knees back underneath hips, wag the hips. Bring the hips right above the knees, walk the hands a little further forward to the shoulders. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, downward dog. Good, couple breaths here. <sighs> and then from our down dog, same thing that we've been doing. You could either walk, which would be little steps, as many as you want to the top of the mat. You could take one big step and another big step, or you could look between the hands to the front edge of the mat, bend the knees, and hop the feet towards the hand. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, stretch out. Exhale, deep fold. Come up through bent knees and fly the arms open. Reverse swan dive, press down into the feet, lift the arms, look up, and exhale through prayer. Let's just reset for a moment. So just land here, feeling the breath, feeling the body, noticing the vitality and aliveness that you're cultivating through this practice, the radiance, the strength, the grace. Good. Take another deep breath. And exhale, release your arms. This is our last flow before we get to relax. So inhale, lift the arms up. You're doing awesome. Exhale, bend the knees, dive forward. We're just going to hit the other side. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Stretch out. Exhale, deep fold. Walk, step, or hop back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg floats up, either three-legged dog or open up the hips, kick it to the sky. Either stay or bend the knee, toe to opposite hip. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, knee into belly. You're going to step or help it through. Actually, don't. Come to plank. I feel like we already did this side. Hold on. Hold in plank here for a moment. Take a deep breath in and full breath out. Kick it back up to dog. I saved the day, you guys. You almost did that twice on one side. That would have not been so fun. Float the left leg up. Here we go. So let's catch back up. So whatever side you didn't do yet, left leg comes up and hold. And then open it up, just so we're even. Bend the knee, toe falls back to hip. Good, kick it high. And now step or help the left leg through. So you should be on the opposite side, whatever side you didn't do yet. Spin the back heel down. Come high on fingertips. Inhale, lift the arms. Hold, you're in warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, deep breath. 
Open the arms behind you, interlace your fingers. We're coming back to that ostrich pose. So first, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulders together, lift the heart, and then hinge at the hips, pour the belly down. Drop the chest, drop the head, stretch the arms away from your back, and pause, breathe. Good. Let the arm bones pull you back up. Keep the bend in the front knee. Release the hands. Inhale, lift the arms. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, straighten the legs. Open up to warrior two. So open the arms. Widen your stance. Bring the front heel right in line with the arch of the back foot. Rebend the front knee. So this is simple. We do this pose all the time, right? It's still very challenging, but basic pose that you're used to, whether you've been following gentle classes or vigorous classes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release back hand to back leg, top arm rises, and then we're just going to turn the face down. Go ahead and look at that back foot. Breathe there. Good, come up through warrior two. Bend the front elbow, sweep the back arm down to come up to side angle and look up. Hold and breathe. Good, top arm pulls you up. Big cartwheel back, straighten your legs. Reverse triangle, so comfortable, familiar flow. And then open up, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So this is a different transition like we did on the other side. Um, the right hand comes to the right hip, and we're gonna take this front hand, we're gonna reach it down, but you might wanna hop, hop that back leg forward a little bit so you can reach, and then go ahead and lift the back leg. So the hips are open here, so they're not square to the ground, they're open to the side. Flex the foot of that long leg that's up in the air. Try to get your heel in line with your hip, Bring the right hand right about underneath the face. And then if you can, lift the right arm. So you're in balancing half moon. You could stay here, or if you want a little more balance, bring the left hand to the heart. Ooh, and try to not fall over. <laughs> if you fall over, it's okay too. So left hand to heart. Good. Release the hand, come to standing split. Release the other hand, stretch the leg high. And now we tuck right into our twist. You're gonna bend the standing leg and see if you can tuck that bottom leg underneath your body. And if you can't get your bottom down, just come to uh, unwind that bottom leg. So adjust so you can come down to unwind the bottom leg. Otherwise, bottom leg's tucked under. However you got there is perfect. I know that's a different transition than we're used to, so sit up tall. Whatever you did is perfect. Lift the same arm as bent leg. You're doing great. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist towards the back leg, hug the knee into the body, back hand to back leg, sit up tall, look over back shoulder. You can keep hugging um, knee into elbow or take the outer edge of the elbow to the knee, palm open and hold, and breathe. You're doing great. Good job. Unwind back through the front. Take this top leg, spin it to the back. Bottom leg is gonna curl in just so you can press back to child's again. So go ahead and take it back to your version of a child. Hold there. Good, pausing in child's. And then shift back to tabletop. I'm gonna take you into one more hip opener. So curl the toes under, lift the knees, down dog. And now walk the feet towards the hands. So go ahead and walk the feet to the hands or the hands towards the feet, doesn't really matter. Feet to hands or hands to feet. And then widen your stance as wide as the mat. We did this Wednesday. Turn the toes out and the heels in and then sink into your squat. So it could be a half squat where you come to this little froggy position or come all the way down. So we did this Wednesday, but we're gonna layer on one more thing here. So the hips are low. You could prop your bottom up with a block or a bolster. If you feel comfortable, bring your hands to prayer. Elevate the heart up towards the hands. Open up the collarbones. Bring a smile to your face and just pause for a moment. You're doing great. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, release the hands down. We're gonna take our little twist here. So reach the right arm far to the right corner. Bring the left hand to the heart like maybe you did in your balancing half moon. Stretch that arm to the ceiling. Now for some of you, if you wanna bind here, take the bottom hand, turn the thumb under, wrap that arm around that bottom leg, top arm internally rotates, and it folds behind the back. Catch the fingers or the wrists. Breathe, look up. 
If you're binding, release, stretch long. Let's come back through center one time. We're just gonna get the other side. If you need to come out at any point, come out and take a rest. Left arm comes down, it walks to the corner of the room. Right hand to heart, maybe stretch it up. If you're binding, bottom hand internally rotates, thumb down. It wraps around bottom leg, top arm internally rotates, bend the elbow. Try to grab that wrist or grab your fingers and look up. Good, if you're binding, release, stretch. Back through prayer one time, you're almost out of this. You're doing awesome, lift the heart. And then release the hands, pick the hips up. Oh my goodness, try to get the bottom up in the air. Wiggle the feet nice and wide, and then take a big wide-legged stance. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Let your head hang, maybe roll the shoulders. Take any movement you want here. You could extend the arms like dog. You could bend and straighten the legs. So just move or don't move in this wide-legged fold to counteract that big hip opener that we just came out of, molasana or garland pose. A couple breaths. You're doing awesome. Good job. And then let's walk the hands back if they were stretched forward. Lengthen your spine. Just wiggle your feet onto the underneath the hips. Wiggle them back onto the mat. And step the right leg back. Land on the right knee. Step the left leg back. Land on the left knee. Uncurl your toes. <laughs> Take it back to one more child's arms extend. Or they come alongside the body. Backs of hands to mat. Palms open and breathe. And pause. Good. Hands underneath shoulders. Press into hands to roll up to sit on your heels. Take a big high knee, lift the hips. Exhale, open the arms. Drop your chin, touch your low back. Inhale, lift the heart. Modified camel, ustrasana, open up. Exhale, release the gaze, release the hips. Curl the toes under, reach the arms forward. One chance here to come right into camel if you want. If you know it, you could follow. Or come to that modified again. If you're coming to camel, one hand down, other hand down, catch your feet, puff up the chest, lift the heart. Take a couple breaths. Good. One hand to low back, other hand to low back. Press up. Uncurl the toes, sit back on your heels. Turn the palms open, close the eyes, just sit for a moment. If sitting on your heels doesn't work, come to your bottom. We're about to lay on the mat for Shavasana in just a moment. Take a deep inhale. Full exhale. Just like you did in the very beginning of class, breathe into the lowest part of the belly, the middle section of the ribs, and the upper part of the chest. Exhale, release the chest. Relax the ribs and relax the belly. One more time, deep inhale. And full exhale, you can just drop the chin towards the chest, bowing your head to your heart and back to intention. Take the hands off the lap, bring the hips to the side, swing the legs around. Let's scooch up to the top of the mat. We'll do a little bit of work together before we come to Shavasana to rest. So lift the arms up, you're doing great. Exhale, lower down. The rest is just going to be nice, easy stretching. Just a couple things. I'm just going to move my mic out from underneath here. Good. Take a big stretch. And then gather knees up in the belly. Hold the knees or the shins or wrap the arms around the legs and rock. Good. Bring hands to knees. Circle the knees one way. You did so good. So this is like the reward, this nice, easy stretching. You did awesome. And then circle the knees the other way. Massaging the low back, sending love to the back body. And then knees into belly, open the knees, slide the hands along the shins, catch the ankles, the feet, or outer edges of the feet, pull the feet towards the groin, open the knees wide. Lengthen the spine, drop the chin, and hold. 
You could stay right here, come up to happy baby, flex your feet up to the ceiling, hold outer edges of feet, ankles, or grab a hold of big toes, and take a rock. Good. And then pause here, bring feet back towards each other, hands back to knees, knees back towards each other, feet to the ground, and then open the arm to T. One last thing, we'll do our recline gomukhasana or cow face, so right leg over left. We did this Wednesday too, pick the knees up, hold the knees. You could hug the knees into belly, or slide the hands down the shins, move the feet away from each other, and catch the tops of the ankles, tops of the feet, or come right underneath the foot and grab the outer edge of foot. You could bend your elbows so the upper arms come to the ground. The more you move the heels away, the more intense it'll be. The closer the heels are to the bottom, the less intense. Relax your face, your jaw, your eyes. And take a few breaths. Good, release the feet, bring the right foot to the ground, arms back to T, unwind the legs, and then cross the left leg over right, inner thighs touch. Same thing, pick the knees up, hold the knees. So step one, you just hug those knees right into the belly and you might feel a good stretch there. If you want more, come down the shins, grab the ankles or the feet, pull them away from each other or come underneath the feet, bend the elbows and pause and breathe. Ah. Good job. Release the feet, bring the um, bottom foot to the ground again, arms out to T, unwind the legs, shuffle them as wide as the mat, just a couple windshield wipers before we come to rest. As you're doing this, if there's any last pose or movement that the body wants, feel free to take that, we're about to come to rest. And then when you're ready to rest, just bring the knees up through the ceiling, up towards the ceiling, lengthen the spine, Extend the right leg to the right corner of the mat, left leg to the left corner of the mat. Arms can float down alongside the body, just slightly away, about 45 degrees at the armpit, palms open, eyes closed. And breathe. Start to let your body totally relax. How quickly can you surrender? How quickly can you drop any need to effort or control? How soon can you slip into this place of peace and alignment? Letting your body, your mind, your heart be free. Free from tension, free from worry, free from anxiety, free from any stress. Letting yourself just rest in this place of peace and unity. Feel your forehead soften and the eyes fall back. Let your jaw relax. Feel the heart and chest open. Arms and legs long all the way to the fingers and toes. Allowing your body, your mind, and your heart to be open to grace. Open to the blessings of your practice. Open to whatever you're seeking today. Letting that infuse deep into your body, your mind, and your heart. A couple breaths in silence. Just to rest.
You're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. I'll begin to guide you back out. If you'd like to come with me, just start to deepen your breath. Without moving your body, just become aware of your body. And then maybe bring movement in to fingers, to toes. And then when you're ready, come to either side. Make your way to um, fetal pose. Just bring the knees into the belly, arms into the chest, and you can land here. Good. Take your time to press up. Eyes could stay closed or a soft gaze. You're going to come to cross legs or any other variation. We'll just be here for a moment. You can let the backs of hands touch the lap, the palms roll open, sit up tall. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. And your next inhale, bring the hands to position to Anjali Mudra, the palms meet. And exhale to bow your head to your heart back to any intention that you set today. We'll end together on the sound of Om, the sound of community, starting with a letting go breath to seal in our practice. Take a deep inhale. Exhale a sigh. And we'll begin deep breath in. as your head bows back to yourself, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Have a beautiful day and a great weekend. Um, Take care. I hope that everything worked out okay with the new camera and mic. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, thank you. Karen, thank you. Good to see you guys. And thanks again to everybody that filled out that survey. That means so much to me. I, um, like all of you, am in this state of just not knowing what the future holds. And it's just such a crazy time. And I really want to keep serving you best and figuring out the um, – best way to connect with you guys and keep moving together and breathing together. So whether it's in the studio, outdoors, virtually, a combination of all, um, we'll keep doing something. And I'll keep, I'm committed to this schedule that I've been teaching for a while. So those of you that have practiced for a long time um, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 or Friday night, I'm going to keep doing that. I love that schedule. So I will see you at some point, somewhere. Um, and if you haven't filled out that survey yet, if you have a moment, I'll post it to the Facebook event. So if you go to Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness Facebook page under the events tab, look for the moderate flow class with me, um, and I'll post that. I did post that survey already. I think I did that one day. I'll post it in the comments. Um, and if you have any feedback, feel free to share it. I am working on a um, studio-wide survey to take like a broader temperature or feel for what people are looking for. So that'll come out probably this weekend. I'm hoping to send that out tomorrow. So keep your eye on your inbox. I'll post it to our Facebook page, too. So I just really appreciate you guys so much, and um, I'm so glad I get to keep being in touch with you. So thank you, Robbie, Pam, Sarah, Amy, Mom. It was great to see you guys and um, everyone else that was out there watching. Um, be well, take care, and I'll see you again soon. I'll be back at 530 if you want a gentle flow, a gentle class to do candlelight yoga, and then I'll see you again Monday morning. So have a great weekend. Be well. Mwah. Big hugs. See you next time.